Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. <laughs> We are appalled and disturbed by the extent of abuse of the former president by UPND cadres. Clearly, with the protection and permission of the police, I don't know if the law of hate speech no longer applies to UPND members and cadres. Looking at the way the law is being applied to other set of Zambians. So I think that whatever the case, there is no justification whatsoever for the UPND to have paid young people to come and abuse the former president in the manner they've done. I've never heard of such insults before, particularly by young children, young people insulting an elder statesman. Let me say this to Mr. Ichirema. You would wish to be respected, you yourself, when you leave office as president. For you and your party to bankroll young people to be insulting the former president in the manner that these young people have done. I think it's a new law. It's the lowest that any government or sitting head of state can go. I'm ashamed to believe that that is the level at which you can reduce the office of president. It's a new law, completely unprecedented. I am bitter and disappointed. No, 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 Mr. Ichirema, you can do better than that. Insulting a former head of state in that manner and style, and you are pleased with that? And you are happy with that? No, 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 please, please, let's elevate our level of politics. I think that's the lowest. That's the lowest you can go as a statesman. Mr. Lungo served this country, but surely he deserves to be respected. That's shameful. And it is this behavior that is undermining public confidence in all of us as political leaders. I think all of us as Zambians, we must condemn that in the strongest term. We must condemn that behavior in the strongest term. The same law that you are applying to apprehend the opposition leaders must apply to everybody. The law must apply to everybody. There should be no exception. Thank you. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. This afternoon was supposed to be a momentous occasion. The united opposition parties in Zambia were supposed to have an event that we're calling to the defense of democracy. But uh, it appears, despite uh, you know, announcements that you are going to be part of this movement, you appear to be a back home. What exactly happened? 
Well, I think it's common knowledge now that uh, this uh, huge rally has not taken place because of uh, thuggery uh, uh, on the part of UPND cadres. And uh, I think he, I was advised along the way that you don't go there because uh, you may not be guaranteed safety or protection of the police because the police are just watching with the gangsters uh, wield their machetes, their knives, their surgical blades and everything all over and they can harm you. So I decided to pull back and came back home. Uh, but suffice to say, I'm very concerned and I think I want to address President Hitchman directly. Say, Mr. President, take charge. You are the commander in chief and the police listen to you. Tell them to do the right thing to stop this hooliganism, this saga we are seeing. And don't tell me that it was happening in PF, therefore it should continue, because that's how we lost it. And we are lucky we lost it, but we kept it and we gave it to you. Now you want to kill it for us. Please, Mr. President, stop this nonsense. Now, something similar happened on uh, uh, a few days ago when you were summoned by the Drug Enforcement Commission. Or allow me to rephrase that when your wife, Madam Esther Lumu, your uh, two daughters and uh, a close relative were called to answer questions at the Drug Enforcement Commission. What was your observation of what happened there? And are there any concerns about there too? Yeah. Uh, what is happening is that uh, the culture of uh, hooliganism is being cemented. If you look back to two days ago when we were DEC, the police first started by sweeping clean the adjoining areas in Kamwata, Ridgeway Post Office, and the, the near Government Road, and all those other areas. They cleared the areas of PF supporters and sympathizers who came to support us. And I heard one of the women was saying, what are these people doing here? It's not Mrs. Mutinta, he told them husband called, it's Esther Lumu. What are they doing here? So uh, we were expecting them to allow PF supporters who came in solidarity with us to just turn around and behave themselves and go. But instead they allowed UPND thugs who came armed, like you saw today. I forget about the songs, uh, the insults and all. But uh, they allowed them and they protected them. So I'm saying that this culture of thuggery, this culture of cannibalism, as is commonly known, should be addressed by the president. What we saw two days ago is confirmation that the police have got no clout or they're being told what to do by the party leadership. Mm? I don't want to comment about JJ because it's a matter which is subject to investigation, but I can safely tell you that the police have been told to keep away from maintaining law and order while we sort out these PF guys. Who does that? And the president there watching, he took off constitution to protect the lives and people of Zambia and property, including me. So you cannot sit there and observe things and say, no, it's okay for the said Galungu who is being uh, harassed and mauled and so on. It's not right. It's not right. So be man enough, Mr. President, take charge of the country. You are losing it. Thank you very much uh, for those salient uh, uh, advice. Thank you. More news to come my lovely viewers, make sure you subscribe to this channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and also turn on the bell icon to join the notification squad. For now, I'm out. Alright, that's all right for you today lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you. Peace. I gotta go.